What's up guys, JV2017 here, bringing you a new Fallout 4 tips and tricks video. And this marks the start of my unique weapon guide series on my channel, so I hope you all are as excited as I am to explore the Commonwealth and find all 44 of these unique weapons over the next few months. Just a quick reminder guys, this is your number one hub for Fallout 4 content here on YouTube, so make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned on my channel for daily Fallout 4 tips and tricks videos. Today I'm going to show you how to get Lorenzo's Artifact Gun, which is a gamma gun. That's kind of the base weapon of this gun. First we'll look at how you obtain this weapon, which happens to be through a side quest, and then I'll show you how to use this gun most effectively. But before we start, I do want to point out that there are easier locations to find a simple gamma gun. Most children of Adam enemies carry one of these weapons, but we're looking for a Lorenzo's artifact gun, and this gun can be transformed into a much more powerful weapon through the weapons workbench. So don't worry about that if you get it and you're like, wow, this is not as good as I thought. You can, you know, mod this weapon. And one final note, this quest takes anywhere from an hour to two hours, depending on various factors, um, how you approach this quest. So strap in and be prepared for a long and pretty interesting side quest called The Secret of the Cabot House. In order to start this quest, you need to find Edward Deegan, who is a ghoul who looks like this. And the problem with Edward is that he appears at four different locations in the Commonwealth. And so he can appear at two different places within Diamond City, the Colonial Tap House and the Dugout Inn. That's two kind of bar locations. He could also appear at the Market at Bunker Hill, which is here on the screen if you haven't found that yet. And finally, he can appear at the third rail bar in Good Neighbor. I happen to find him at Bunker Hill, but he could be in another location for you. But once you find him, it's fairly simple to get this quest started. If you do have charisma, make sure you ask for a larger reward and he will give it to you. So this is where part one special delivery starts and you're told to find the Cabot House, which is actually just due south of Bunker Hill right there on the map. And once you get there, you're going to talk to Jack. He'll be on the inside. Edward's gonna let you in first. And really guys, be nice to Jack. I've read that if you're not nice to Jack, he won't give you the gun at the end. But basically he gives you this quest to find Parsons State Insane Asylum and tells you to talk to his confidant. And so here is Parsons State Insane Asylum. It's way up here. And so I recommend if you have explored around this area to just fast travel. If not, it's gonna be quite a rough journey to get there and you will find death claws on the way, so be careful. So here's the person you need to talk to. Her name's Maria. You're gonna talk to her. She's gonna tell you to kill some raiders, and once you do kill the raiders, which are just left of uh, that insane asylum, you will find this mysterious serum. That's the you know secret package you need to get. Also, there's a safe in this barn. If you wanna get that safe, um, it's up on the second floor. So once you get this serum, you're gonna return to Jack, and you have an option to give Edward the serum or not. You get 50 more caps if you do give it to him, but if you keep it, you can wait for the next part and it will have another use. So now we roll into part two, and this is all about taking care of Emma Jean, and this is uh, Jack's sister. So essentially you're told to seek info out at the third rail, which is a bar in Good Neighbor. And once you get there, you can talk to this, you know, Mr. Handy here. He'll tell you to talk to this woman who's singing over here. And basically she'll give you info to confront a kind of priest guy slash salesman named Brother Thomas. And so Brother Thomas is an interesting character. He's located very close to the Cabot House, actually. So it's right here on the map. You can tell where it is. If you have some of these other locations, you can fast travel like I did. But once you get there, you'll find him in the Charles View Amphitheater. And here he is. And this is kind of a tough situation. Um, I have high charisma, so I was really able to get through this very quickly. But there are many ways to do this. If you don't have high charisma, you may need to you know, kill him or do some other kind of options. So essentially, once you talk to him and I was able to persuade him, he just opened the door for me and there is Emma Jean. And so when you talk to Emma Jean, you can give her the serum actually that you kept before. But if you didn't, um, you know, keep it, you can't give it to her. And there's no real reward for giving her the serum. So don't really worry about that. That's just an option within this quest. Once you've taken care of Emma Jean in whatever way possible, you can return to Jack and tell him so, and he will reward you with a little bit of experience and introduce you to the next part, part three of this quest, which is to take care of Lorenzo. And that's his father, Jack's father. He's got crazy superpowers or something. I'm not really sure how that's going on, 
but essentially you have to return to the Parsons Insane Asylum and fight through a ton of raiders. I cut out a lot of footage here because there are so many and really the only challenge here is Lefty at the very bottom. And before I forget, when Edward is down and Jack is kind of helping him in this room before you get down to the basement, there is a Charisma bobblehead. This is the Charisma bobblehead, just a quick reminder and make sure you nab this. Don't forget to grab this thing and get to the very bottom here. And then you're confronted with this morality choice. Either you can kill Lorenzo or free him. I highly recommend that you kill him on the spot because it's much easier in getting your gun. If you decide to free him, the only way to get your gun is to run back to the Cabot house and tell Jack that you were wrong and then actually help them kill Lorenzo. And I did this, it's very, very tough at level 26 for me extremely tough he was a very hard boss i really don't recommend that you take that route but if you do decide to take that route and if you decide to take the first route that i recommended just talk to jack again be very nice and then also ask for a reward at a very specific point it will say reward on the x button on xbox of course it'll be square on you know um, ps4 and then another option on pc you need to ask for that reward i don't know if he gives it to you regardless but I would just recommend clicking reward on this option. And then he will say, you know what? Yeah, I'm gonna give you reward, but it's gonna take a week, which is interesting. It's gonna take a full week for him to kind of create this weapon for you, Lorenzo's artifact gun. So what I recommend is going back to your settlement of choice and finding a bed and literally just sleeping for a week over and over and over, put it all the way up to 24 hours for sleeping and then do this seven times. Once that full week has passed by, it will give you an indication, a notification on the side of your screen saying that Jack is ready to talk about the artifact. So you're going to go back to the Cabot house, talk to Jack, and then he's going to give you the Lorenzo's artifact gun. And this weapon uses telekinesis to push targets away. It also has radiation damage and ballistic damage, as you can tell on the damage indicator. And really, I found a few interesting things. First off, this weapon is really not effective against anything but humans. So it's kind of an interesting weapon to deal with because of the radiation damage. And it kind of does a little bit of ballistic damage, but it's not that special. As you can tell, I'm having a hard time killing a super mutant that should be, you know, very easy to kill at my level. And that's just the gun. And the fact that I'm fighting a super mutant, this gun is just not effective against anything that's not a human. But if I take it to a human, you can see that it does very, very potent and interesting damage. Um, I just took out that one raider and then you'll see I'm about to take out another raider pretty easily So, you know, there is a case to make for this weapon against human enemies But again, you might be disappointed by the fact that this is not super effective against other types of enemies But there is a solution to that and that is through the weapons workbench So what you want to do is take this back to you know Any kind of uh, weapons workbench and you'll see that Lorenzo's artifact is in the dish kind of slot for modding this weapon and what you can actually do is take off Lorenzo's artifact and put on a standard dish or a deep dish and that will remove the ballistic damage and make it all radiation damage which may look very attractive at first but trust me if you only do that to this weapon it's not good enough this is not a very good weapon with just radiation damage so what you need to do and this requires three science is to put on this the electric signal carrier antennae and when you put this on this is a very, very powerful weapon. It gives you 40 energy damage, and that's gonna be a lot more useful in more situations. Right here, I'm showing you some gameplay with just the standard dish. You will see how awful the damage is with just radiation damage. It's horrible, it's awful, and it's a total waste of the ammo that is really very rare. So you wanna you know, really make sure you're using this weapon in certain situations you don't want to waste this ammo because again it's it's pretty rare and besides the ammunition that automatically comes with this weapon you can go back to the cabot house go straight through the entrance through this door and then down into the basement and there will be kind of a secret room that has a lot of goodies it has a safe it's got a fat man it's got a mini nuke and then in this green kind of box it has some more gamma rounds it's not very much and I honestly haven't come across any gamma rounds before this point, but there are parts of the world I haven't gone to, and I think a lot of Children of Adam will be carrying gamma rounds, so you don't have to worry too much about ammunition. As you all watch me struggle against Lorenzo, I want to know, will you get Lorenzo's artifact gun? Is this something you're interested in? Are you going to mod this to make it 
really good with that special science three rank mod this will be pretty good for you know energy weapon builds i would assume there may be better weapons out there but i want to know how you would rate this weapon if you were to give it a rating if you've gotten it or maybe this is just pure speculation by you and also more importantly i want to know what your suggestion is for the next unique weapon have you heard of an awesome weapon out there that you want me to cover next leave it in the comment section below and then we will explore it in the next few days all right guys today i showed you how to get lorenzo's artifact gun in fallout 4 and next time we will cover more fallout on my channel so stay tuned for daily fallout 4 tips and tricks videos and remember that this is your number one hub for all fallout 4 content on youtube if you learned something new remember to hit that like button i'd really appreciate it and don't forget to subscribe for continued weapon guides and builds and all of that stuff is coming to my channel very soon talk to you guys next time peace